Hi, welcome to Lawn Tech. Uh, these are our test plots here. What we've done is um, we've just come down today after a very hot week of uh, dry weather. We've, we've come to have a look at uh, how our wetting agents are doing. Now we've applied a wetting agent to this test plot here. And obviously to the side here, we haven't applied a wetting agent. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take some moisture readings from this test plot and just uh, do a little comparison to see how that wetting agent is, is doing. Now we applied this about three months ago. And um, so it's a really good opportunity to see how it's lasted. So what I'm gonna do is we'll choose a random spot on here and I'm gonna take a moisture reading. Now you can see there that that is at 23.7% moisture, which is a really good reading. Ideally, we want it to be between about 30 and 15%. Once you start getting to 15% and below, then you're going to start to see drought stress, you're going to start to see some browning, and eventually, if we don't get rain, you will see dormancy and uh, the lawn will completely go brown. We'll just take another look over here. And again, you can see we're at 21%. So really, we're in the 20s here, so we're nice and safe. Um, this is going to last a while, even if we don't get rain. We'll come have a look over here now. So if we take a moisture reading here, this is the plot that hasn't had the uh, the wetting agent, and you can see already at 14%, okay, it's still looking nice and green, but if we don't get rain for a week or so, that might not be the case. You're gonna to start to see some browning, uh, you're gonna to start to see a little bit of drought stress, and if we have a look here, just um, on another section, there you go, even lower, 7.6%. Now, one thing you would notice if I was to put the moisture meter in and test lots of areas here, the moisture is going to vary a lot. Over here, it's going to be a lot more uniform. And that's one of the great advantages of having a wetting agent. You get a nice uniform wetting. Now, the reason these wetting agents work so well is because there's three modes of action that this wetting agent has. The first is that it helps to spread the water out nice and evenly over the surface so it can penetrate well rather than beading. The second is that it's going to break down that waxy, um, waxy material left in the soil through the breakdown of organic plant material and uh, that is secreted by, um, by fungi, which, which basically makes the soil hydrophobic and it will repel water, so patches will become very dry. Uh, the last mode of action in the wetting agents we use is that it helps to slow the movement of moisture through the soil profile and keep it in reach of those roots for longer. And by using all of these methods, we help to keep the lawn greener for longer. And we help to ensure that when we do get that moisture, it penetrates into the lawn a lot faster and we get a much quicker recovery. And that's how the wetting agents that we're applying to lawns really help to just improve that drought tolerance. So just to prove that uh, we're not cheating, we'll just do one more moisture test here just in a completely different area. And if you have a look here, again, still 22%. So really nice and uniform, a nice amount of moisture after a really hot week, about 30 degrees and three months after application. So you can see the wetting agents are a really effective way to, to try and beat the dry weather that we're getting at the moment. Thanks a lot.